Sticking with politics, strong disapproval. That is the feeling from the Ada County Republican Central Committee on Idaho Representative James Petsky. Like we've seen in other areas of Idaho, the Ada County Central Committee, they have now passed an official resolution to say they don't like how Representative Petsky handled his work on the Joint Finance and Appropriations Committee. As shared on Twitter by a member of the Ada County Republican Central Committee, the Ada team said that Petsky broke with GOP values in his disagreement on how JFAC should be doing their work. As we covered in depth, JFAC actually went to a brand new process this year. Some lawmakers, though, including Representative Petsky, they had concerns with the process and they opted to actually go back to the old process during a meeting in February. Well, that situation jammed up the legislature for a full week, but in the end, lawmakers continued with the new JFAC process. Ada County Republican Central Committee, though, they say that, quote, they support any action which other entities or committees within the Idaho Republican Party may choose to bring against Representative James Petsky in order to defend and promote conservative Republican Party values and the Idaho Republican Party platform. So what's this all about? What are they referring to? Well, the committee believes that Representative Petsky broke with a campaign filing statement to the Republican Party in 2022. And in that, he said that he would take a strong, fiscally conservative approach to government. We've seen this type of action before, but what does it actually mean? Time will tell, but I have seen your questions about loyalty statements or some type of paperwork that lawmakers sign or fill out, committing to be a conservative lawmaker for the conservative party, the Republicans. And I came across what you're gonna see right here online, and I thought maybe you'll find it interesting. I'm not, this is not overly news value, but in terms of just information, what I'm showing you here is this is integrity and affiliation form posted by Middleton Senator Tammy Nichols. And basically, it asks GOP lawmakers to review the Constitution of Idaho and the party platform. From there, there are two options to pick on the form. You can mark by the first one saying that you agree to both the platform and the Constitution with no notes. And then the second one says, yes, I agree with the Constitution and the party platform, except for the issues that I list below. And then a candidate can go into more detail on that sheet. The document finishes up saying that the person signing it will be evaluated in their role as a public office holder based on performance that is checked against the party platform and the Constitution. So that's just how it works, just showing you a little bit of insight that you might have not seen before. I will say this, we're gonna dive into this more next week, scheduled to sit down with Representative Petsky on Monday. So with the election coming up, the GOP and Dem uh, enter the primary elections, I wanted to call them in about a month in May. We'll see how situations like this kind of unfold. And speaking of the 2020